Thank you for taking the time to subscribe. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. This right here, the Poas Volcano, this in Costa Rica on Monday, a very large eruption. This is a big tourist attraction, but look what happened on Monday. This eruption reached about 10,000 feet, even a little bit higher, over three kilometers up into the sky, causing issues with ash. And yes, this is a spot that I'm monitoring closely uh, for any further eruptions as we go forward, as we go down the road. So where is this volcano? Well, we're looking in Costa Rica as we get back Back towards Central America. This just generally uh, off to the north of San Jose. So watching this, here's Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia. You have Honduras here, Nicaragua, El Salvador, Guatemala, and Belize. Just to orient you where this volcano is, where this eruption was. This is the crater uh, back in 2017 before we started to get into more of an active period. And you could see it and you could see why just uh, some of the beauty of this, if you will, and why it is such a big tourist attraction in this area with this obviously an active volcano, no doubt. And that crater was looking more like this just a couple days ago with this huge plume that lofted way up into the sky. And again, things like this impact uh, air travel. Sometimes volcanoes can impact the uh, weather as a whole, depending on how large these eruptions are, how big they are, uh, and if they uh, continue. So this was the eruption over 10,000 feet into the sky. Getting a look at some of the ash, some of it has settled over the last about uh, 12 to 18 hours, the volcanic ash. So again, here's San Jose. So we're looking just to the north and northwest. This is where the uh, Poas volcano is is in watching out for some of that ash that has drifted more to the northwest. That's where that ash has been going. I'll be monitoring that so long we don't have any further eruptions. Most of the ash, volcanic ash, has settled, but if we have any further eruptions, that could cause some bigger issues with air travel, and sometimes that gets really picked up and moved across different countries, could move across the uh, Caribbean, so I'll be monitoring that volcanic ash. Now, uh, this type of volcano lends itself uh, to uh, the possibility of plenty of eruptions, those are some of the biggest ones around. Hence, we had that big one on Monday, and I'm monitoring to see if we have any further ones. A Plinian eruption in itself, it's the most explosive type of eru eruption. You have that high ash cloud, those massive flows that come from it, and they could reach those ash clouds, that volcanic ash could reach up to 30,000 feet in the sky, six miles in the sky. So you're looking at nine kilometers up. I mean, these are these are the big ones. Uh, so you're looking at about 9,000 uh, meters up, and you get that thick, pasty magma that comes from it, uh, that big uh, kind of lava flow, that destructive lava flow with it. So these are very obviously serious situations. You saw that eruption, know that I am monitoring that. So that uh, right over here over toward uh, Costa Rica. On top of that, there's been some rain that has been around. And flipping over to the atmosphere, look at that spin. That's the one we have been talking about for about two weeks now. Uh, did uh, verify watching that spin out there. Not tropical in nature, but as this starts to move away now, look at that moisture plume that's moving in. And this catching your eye. See these brighter colors? That's telling me taller clouds, stronger storms moving through Oklahoma and parts of Texas with another severe weather potential for today. So there's that spin. But look at this near Venezuela, the ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, back toward Trinidad, this moisture plume lifting in all the way up toward uh, St. Kitts and Nevis, Ceiba, Montserrat, Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda, a better chance of getting some rain. So let me start wide. Here's some of that severe weather potential, Texas, Louisiana, uh, there. Here's this spin. As that spin is there, even though it's moving away, it helps influence the weather, drawing in a better chance of rain. This doesn't mean all of our islands are going to get rain. We have a better chance of getting rain, which is good news as we try to fill up some of the uh, cisterns. I'll monitor for some isolated flooding. But this starts to kick away, and then you see what happens. Still some scattered showers as we work our way into tomorrow on Thursday. And then let's uh, take ahead just a few days, and I'll widen out the picture in just a second. Hang with me. Let's go out in time into Saturday. This spins out of here, but look at that moisture. So this is really changing the pattern overall. Still a decent chance of rain for some of us uh, in the uh, Eastern Caribbean as we even work into the upcoming weekend. Now here's a closer look, and then I wanna expand out with the uh, big picture in just a moment. But here's the closer look at some of the rain potential as we go through the day. Guadalupe, Dominica, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We may get some of those scattered showers. Still Costa Rica over toward Panama. In a couple of showers and thunderstorms will be possible 
possible uh, Jamaica, Haiti over toward the Dominican Republic over the next few days. So this is tomorrow and you still see some of those scattered showers, Trinidad and Tobago. We'll see that chance of scattered showers. Still watching out for some of the rain, Guyana and Suriname. And then monitoring some of those thunderstorms that will be popping up elsewhere. Some of us too dry, Belize. We need to get some rain in here. And then this is by Friday. Watching out for those scattered showers that will be possible. Martinique, Dominique, even down through uh, Grenada. Still watching the ABC Islands. And this here as we work our way again Friday into Saturday. Uh, Antigua, Barbuda, that chance of some rain. St. Kitts and Nevis, Montserrat, that chance of some rain. And then we get some scattered showers. There'll be some daytime heating. So Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, even the Cayman Islands. A couple scattered showers around. And watching some of that rain over toward the uh, Pacific side that will monitor as we go forward. Now here's a broader picture. Watching out for this severe weather threat right here. Here's this spin and we have that front today moving through the Atlantic region of Canada with that chance of some snow and rain. But this is the front that picks up this spin to the east of Bermuda and kind of starts to work it away. So here's the front kind of grabs it and lifts this spin away but it still pulls in that moisture into the Caribbean and then as we go up further watch this next system in the U.S. Pretty big one. Lots of rain, storm with it and this will work its way right up toward the northeast U.S. So looking at New England then the Atlantic region of Canada watching out for the uh, rain and even some snow coming out of Quebec and it could clip uh, by parts of New Brunswick just on the north side of it but a lot of rain working in as we work our way into our Saturday forecast for uh, eastern uh, Canada. Now watching the seas now the Gulf over toward the Caribbean not too bad it is a little bit choppy with still some of those winds around but this spot here that's where that spin has been. That's where we have some of the elevated seas. So that means you're looking at the Bahamas, north of Puerto Rico as well, for some of those uh, choppier seas. This here is by Friday. But overall, nothing super crazy, right? Nothing uh, super crazy, but watching as we get into the Atlantic waters where we'll have some of those elevated seas the next couple of days. So the rain totals, not very high. We may get brushed by a few showers, central, southern Bahamas. But as we go over the next few days, I mentioned deeper into the week. We'll get that chance of even a couple thunderstorms around with our daytime heating. So we may catch a shower or two. Cayman Islands, although our rain chance is low. Jamaica, we'll get a few spotty showers by the end of the week. And then this here, these brighter colors, Haiti and the Dominican Republic, especially even eastern Cuba, that's where we could get a couple thunderstorms that could drop 50 millimeters of rain or two inches of rain. And we'll watch out for that as well. Puerto Rico, British, U.S., Virgin Islands, Anguilla. But there's some of that rain that will be around. You see the blues and some of the purples around. So some of us, it's going to be hit or miss, but some of us will get 25 to about 50 millimeters of rain or one to two inches of rain. Watching that Anguilla, Antigua, Barbuda. Dominica, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, the Grenadines, just with that moisture plume moving in. Even Barbados, Grenada will get clipped by some showers, scattered showers, Grenada, back through uh, Trinidad the next few days. Still some of the higher totals, Guyana and Suriname. The rain chance overall is going down, but still some areas of rain that could lend itself to some additional flooding. Colombia and Venezuela, some of the extra rain, especially as you get south in Colombia and south in uh, Venezuela. Watching the ABC Islands, we may get a few spots, uh, 10, maybe 25 millimeters of rain and then Costa Rica, Panama still a few higher totals but here's where it's been mainly dry. Parts of Guatemala and El Salvador, we may catch some rain but Belize north over toward Amerida, generally those uh, dry conditions, same thing near Mexico City, but there's some of the heavy rain to get over toward the uh, Dallas area, parts of northeastern Texas, higher chance of rain with that severe weather threat that's moving by. So we're mainly dry today in Jamaica, but you see that chance of a couple spotty showers, maybe a thunderstorm tomorrow and Friday, about a 40% chance. By Friday in the Cayman Islands, we'll have a slight chance, an isolated chance of a shower. We have been so dry, an isolated chance of a shower by Friday. Trinidad and Tobago, and you see how this is not a 100% chance of rain, so not all of us are getting the rain, but the next few days, a 40% chance of some scattered showers. Goes up a little bit tomorrow and Friday in Barbados. We're looking at about a 30% chance, but we swing back to the uh, west of there as we work our way into St. Lucia the next few days with that moisture plume around a 40% chance of scattered showers. Grenada, a 50% chance tomorrow and a 40% chance on Friday and a 40 to 50% chance as we slide over uh, the next few days for some of the islands of St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Watching out for that chance of rain. 30 
50% chance today in Martinique, but a 50% chance for tomorrow, a 40% chance today in Dominica, a 50% chance tomorrow, and that 50% chance of rain holds as well on Friday. Same thing as we work our way into Guadeloupe with that better chance of getting some of the rain. Antigua, Barbuda, see it bumping up as well. Thursday and Friday, a better chance of getting those scattered showers. Mainly dry today, St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Montserrat, but by tomorrow and Friday, the rain chance will be bumping up. 30% chance today, Anguilla and St. Bart's. By tomorrow, about a 40 to 50% chance. And running at a 40% chance today, St. Martin, Saban, Stacia, but a 50% chance tomorrow and Friday. 30% chance the next couple of days in Puerto Rico, an isolated shower storm, but a better chance of some scattered showers and storms once we hit Friday. 30% chance today, U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Tortola, back towards St. Thomas, uh, St. Croix, 40% chance tomorrow and Friday. And then as we work our way into the Bahamas, still mainly dry, central and southern Bahamas, a better chance of some spotty uh, showers around, but that rain chance even at that, not too high. And it's not too high, Turks and Caicos, just about a 20% chance. Dominican Republic, 30% chance today, but then we get those scattered showers and thunderstorms with the uh, daytime heating. So the rain chance even bumps up a little bit in Haiti. We're looking at a 40% chance tomorrow and Friday. Belize, once again, we are mainly on the dry side. It would be a very stray chance of a shower. Aruba, uh, look at that rain chance, 30 to about 40%, 30 to 40% chance in Curacao and Bonaire. Keep me posted. Again, that doesn't mean it's a guarantee, but we have a better chance of rain. Rain chance trending down somewhat in Guyana, but Guyana and Suriname, as I've been highlighting for days and days, we're still monitoring that flood threat with additional rain. Rain chance in Cuba stays low. By the end of the week, though, we get those scattered storms as things start to heat up further. Costa Rica and Panama, 60% chance of rain, 40% chance tomorrow. Watching out for, again, uh, the volcano to see if there's any further eruptions. 40% chance of some scattered showers in Nicaragua. 20 to 30% chance over the next three days in Honduras. Rain chance builds a little bit by the end of the week. Guatemala and El Salvador, especially uh, closer to the water, closer to the Pacific, better chance of rain. Mexico City by Friday, about a 30% chance. Holding on to that seasonal 20% chance across the Yucatan Peninsula. Northern Colombia, 50 to 60% chance of rain and a 50% chance the next couple of days in northern Venezuela. We get back through Bermuda. We're mainly on the dry side as we uh, work our way right into the weekend. So that spin in the Atlantic helps draw in some of that rain, that active pattern, some isolated areas of flooding. I'll monitor that and we are monitoring the volcanic ash. We are just 39 days away now from the start of hurricane season. Thank you for being with me. I hope you have a really good day ahead.